For many years, we have been using shampoos without actually knowing the main content in those shampoos. Shampoos have also evolved, producing better quality products. How many shampoos have we changed for the past years? Ever wonder how shampoos have made our hair soft and silky? That's why we're here to find out! Buffer solution is a solution that can resist pH change upon the addition of an acidic or basic component. It is able to neutralize small amounts of added acid or base, thus maintaining the pH of the solution relatively stable. Buffer solutions have a working pH range and capacity which dictate how much acid or base can be neutralized before pH changes and the amount of by which it will change. So there is two types of buffer solution, acidic buffer solution and base buffer solution. Acidic buffer solution is simply one which has a pH value below 7. while for the base buffer solution is the opposite of the acidic buffer solution which has a pH value higher than 7. Uh, and acidic buffer solution are commonly made, are commonly made from a weak acid in one of its salt, which often use sodium chloride. An example of the mixture is a mixture of weak acid and its salt is sodium ethanoid and ethanoid acid. Uh, for the buffer solution are commonly made, are commonly made from weak base and its salt. And a frequently used example is ammonia solution and ammonia chloride. So here's the thing. It doesn't matter what the concentration were for both acid and buffer solution and base buffer solution. As long as they were the same, it will be okay. Our hair strain surface covered with, a, with an overlapping sheet that are called cuticles. Most shampoo are made up of acidic, which can make the cuticle smooth and line flat on the surface. As the shampoo mix with water or dirt, which is alkaline, it will make the shampoo become less acidic. So, the buffer solution in the shampoo, which contains things that can remove the OH iron or H iron, they can be neutralized by the acid or the, the excess of base in the shampoo. By this, it can resist change of pH in our hair. The typical buffering agent used in shampoo is citric acid. Citric acid is used to adjust the pH down to approximately 5.5. Shampoos usually are at pH 5.5 because they are slightly acidic so that the scales on a hair follicle lie flat, making the hair feel smooth and looks shiny. Most shampoos usually use citric acid or sodium citrate to maintain a slightly acidic pH balanced shampoo. However, there are more than one buffer system that can be produced, not only citric acid or sodium citrate. They are the same. They just what compound you use in in shampoo they usually usually use citric acid and the conjugates. There there are other systems. Okay, other systems as well. So but the, in shampoo they use citric acid so the pH is slightly acidic, you know, slightly acidic. But in other systems it doesn't need to be citric acid. It can be other buffer system made out of bases and the conjugates. Right? So it's not like specific, be specific, you know, only one uh, chemicals can serve as buffer. No. It's not like that. Or as long as the theory is. Yes, as long as they are weak base, weak acid with the conjugate, then they form the system of, of buffer. Shampoo is buffered so that we can wash our hair without damaging our scalp or hair. Without the buffering agent in a shampoo, the substance will become too acidic or too alkaline where it could damage our hair. Shampoo helps smoothing healthier hair and smoothens hair. It also removes traces of certain chemicals and bring the hair back to its normal pH value. This type of shampoo also acts as a cleanser because it takes away the crease dental, hair styling gel, hair care product, oils and lotion. And that is how buffer solutions function in shampoos to keep our hair smooth and healthy.